Welcome to clickmyproject.com. Let's see the title of our project. Content based image retrieval with the graph theoretical approach. This is our title. Let's see the abstract. Nowadays there has been huge number of images available in a real world. So there is a necessity to retrieve the similar image for the query image given by the users, right? Uh, image retrieval will be carried out by a various techniques. In our project we are gonna uh, retrieve the images based on the content based image retrieval technique. First, the uh, various regions that are available in the query image given by the users will be well analyzed and determined. Then the histogram of the various regions in the query image will be calculated based on the colors which is present in the set of regions in the query image. Uh, distance of the every region will be well analyzed and determined. In our project, we are using Coral Images dataset as a database, which is contained the thousand images. Here, user need to provide the query image for Okay. After determining a regions which is present in the query image, the regions need to be segmented. So that is, the image segmentation based on the regions will be carried out. After performing the image segmentation, the histogram values of the every regions will be well gathered and determined. After that, the distance of the every regions will be well analyzed. For every images from the uh, database will be carried out by region analyzation and the image segmentation which is uh, already performed for the query image. So after evaluating the regions and image segmentation of the every images in the database, then the histogram of the regions will be calculated. Then the comparison between the histograms of the query image and the histograms of the uh, images in the database will be carried out. The distance of the regions will be well calculated. For calculating distance, we are using the Euclidean distance. Uh, after analyzing the regions, histograms, as well as the distance of the uh, every thousand images, then the images will be arranged in order in such a way that the topmost image will be the most accurate image for the input query image which is given by the users. Then the remaining similar images will be arranged according to the most accurate image. The arrangement of the uh, every thousand images will be is based on the distance. That is the topmost image that is most accurate image which which will have the most least distance. Okay, based on the distance, the thousand will images will be arranged in a order. After acquiring the most similar images from the database for the query image given by the client will be carried out by a graphing method. The graph that shows the time acquired by the image based on the similarity to the input images. Let's see the data flow diagram of our project. Here, uh, as I said, user need to provide some input query image. After providing the query image, the regions that are present available in the query image will be well analyzed. Then the regions will be segmented into different parts based on the colors. After performing the image segmentation, the histogram values of the every regions will be well calculated. Having the histogram values as well as the distance values of the regions, the image comparison between the query image for the, the each image from the database will be carried out. For comparison between the histograms as well as the distance, we will be using the dist uh, Euclid distance formula for the distance calculation. Then after performing the then after performing the distance calculation, the thousand images will be arranged in order. So the thousand images will be arranged in order in which the most topmost image will be the most accurate and the remaining appending images will be the most similar image for the uh, input query image. After acquiring the most similar image from the database, we will be carried on by graphing method. That graph shows the time acquired by the image based on the similarity for the input query image. Let's see the demo of our project. This is the home screen of our project. Here user need to provide some input query for which the similar image from the database need to be retrieved. Here I am selecting on tensor images for as the input image. Let's pr proceed with this image. Here this list shows the images which are available in the database. Here in our database it will be containing 1063 images. Now let's see how to add extra images to the database. For adding some extra image we can able to proceed with the form 2. Now after selecting the input image we can able to um, go through this add images to database. Here we can able to select the input images. After that we need to provide some caption for this. Provide some caption for this image. Uh, for example here I am just giving the jellyfish 2. After providing the caption, we can able to store the images in the database. Now the image is successfully saved in the database. Here we here we can able to determine the RGB values of the images which you selected. These are the RGB values of this jellyfish image.
this is how we can able to add additional images to the database now go back to the home screen to proceed with the process after that, just select the same input images and that proceed first we, we need to uh, we need to generate the threshold image by which we, we can able to see the object which is present in the in our input images after after generating some threshold images will be carried out by the process in this uh, image retrieval process this is it first the image analysis and the image segmentation will be will be performed after the image segmentation the histogram values of the every regions in the query image as well as the distance of the regions will be well analyzed after that for every images in the database the both same the image segmentation as the as well as the uh, distance of the regions will be well calculated then the comparison between the histograms of the in, uh, input image as well as the uh, histograms of the uh, images in the database will be um, during the uh, distance displacement of the regions will be evaluated for distance calculation will be using the Euclidean distance then after that based on the distance the will be getting the most similar images list from the database it takes some time to retrieve the image similar images Here this uh, list shows the most similar images. The topmost images will be the most accurate images for the input query image. Uh, remaining Im images are the most similar image for the query image. Uh, similar image list will be retrieved which is based on the distance. So topmost means uh, topmost that is the uh, most accurate images will have the most least distance. Let's now let's proceed with the image viewer. These are the top 20 images from the database with most accurate as well as the similar images for the input query image. Let's proceed with the graph. Um, because of our proposal, we can able to retrieve this most similar images from the image rich database in a most efficient manner. By this graph, we can able to determine how efficiently the images are retrieved in by means of time sequence. This graph represents the time taken by the images for the image retrieval based on the similarity. Thank you.